welcome to Humming Bliss Acres. My name is Rachel and I'm so glad you're here today. Today we're going to talk about kindness. Kindness is incredibly important. It is a worldwide language. It is not necessarily focused on a lot on TV and on the news like ever. I feel like there are a few newscasts that will show some highlights of the day, but mainly it's all the sad, bad, hard things in this world. But all around us are beautiful, kind, generous things that are happening, that are spiritual, godly things that God intended for relationships in our life. So if you're feeling like the world is just going to hell and everything is awful and you're feeling really down about life and you watch the news 24 seven, yeah, I bet you do feel that way. I bet you feel like nothing good ever happens and you get these lies in your head that you're constantly telling yourself and not not realizing that you're being so influenced by these things, um, by the news, by all the, the sad things in life. Um, but there are so many good things, guys. There are so many beautiful, positive, life-giving kind things that people do every day, every day. And maybe you're one of those people that like tries to do an act of kindness every day for someone else. And if you are, you are there. You are amazing. You have definitely figured out a way to, to feed your soul in that sense. Um, this world is all about relationship, relationship with one another. That is pretty much one of the most important things about life is having relationship with one another, with our friends, with our families, with our children, with our husbands, with our spouses, whoever it is, it's all about relationships. Whether those relationships are good or bad or abusive or hard or uplifting or any of them, it's all boils down to the relationships we have and what the world has. Um, and honestly, first and foremost in my life anyway, is God. God comes first. God, I want God's plan for my life. I want God's plan for my daughter. And that's not always easy. I've had to swallow a few big swallows and go, oh really, this is, this is what we're doing with life? Okay, God. But in turn, it has come full circle and I see how his plan has been a beautiful mess in a way. It's been, not saying that he is messy because his timing and the universe's timing is perfect and divine. But what could have been bad actually turned into maybe a beautiful thing that I grew from or learned from or could pass down or could share with someone or could bond a relationship with someone else. So first in my head is God. Second is a relationship with yourself. How are you treating yourself? What are you saying to yourself? Next is maybe your spouse and your children. And after that falls everybody else in the world. Guys, I don't know where you put yourself on the list, but I recently learned you have to come first. Obviously God is at the top of my list, but I come first after that. And that doesn't mean all my time is all about me. All my things are all about me. That's for sure. I am not, I'm not like that at all. I give mostly to everybody else, but I fill my cup first. I try every day to fill myself and talk to myself in a way that counts, in a way that matters, in a way that isn't slamming myself down. Guys, I've been there. I spent most of my life kind of, well, basically as an empath who took things very, very, very personal. And I had a few, you know, well, we'll call them major bumps in the road that really made me have to grow and look inside and, and know that you have to put kind of like a, a stronghold up on yourself and know like, I'm good. Like you are good with who you are. If you aren't, like if you're one of those people that you're like, oh gosh, I really <clears throat> am not a kind person. Well then let's work on that. But everybody deserves kindness and it starts with you. You first have to show yourself kindness, yourself. So if you're looking in the mirror every day, telling yourself you're fat, you're ugly, you're worthless, you're a POS, you're 
<clears throat> you'll never amount to anything. Just like so and so from 10 years ago said, you know, all these people are talking about you telling, you know, everybody else all these things that may or may not be true. What is that doing for you? Nothing. Do you think that you, well, okay, so if you have children, <clears throat> would you ever tell them those things that you tell yourself daily? Would you look a little child in the eye and say, you're a POS, you're worthless, you're ugly, you're fat, you're any of these things. Now, if you would, then we need, like, you probably need to do some serious healing inside because that's just straight up mean. Just straight up mean. Children need nurturing and love. And basically, we're just like grown-up children. We need nurturing and love. And you cannot depend on it from anybody else. I know that when I spend a lot of time in the Bible, I definitely feel more loved. I feel the amount that God loves us. Just like I look at my own daughter and I can understand God's love in that sense that if I can love my daughter oh, as deeply as I do, so unbelievably much, I put her first in everything. I would go hungry just so she could eat. I would give my life for her because that is how deeply I love her. I can understand the way that God loves us. So if God loves you that much, and if you love your children that much, why on earth, why, why would you be staring yourself in the mirror, telling yourself all the ugly truths of the world? Those aren't ugly truths. They might feel like truths. They're false beliefs. They're false beliefs that the world has said about bodies, or about perfectionism, or about a way a woman should look, or about how you should act and deep down, I know you probably feel like it's wrong to stare at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how awful everything is about you. You are so loved and you are so beautiful and so unique. God made us all so unique, guys. You have a special purpose here. Maybe your skin doesn't look like someone on the, you know, front of a magazine. Maybe your hair doesn't. Maybe it's, you know, you desire a lot with your hair. Maybe. You desire a lot with your body. But when, have you ever noticed, like when you focus on all the negative things, all of a sudden, like, like your whole life is negative? Everything around you seems sad and mundane and negative, and it's like a spiral effect, like this tumbleweed that just keeps getting more tumbleweeds, and pretty soon it's like, whoa! That's what negative thoughts can do. But on the other hand, that's also what positive thoughts can do. They can build upon each other. The more things you start saying to yourself that are positive, maybe in the moment you don't believe it, maybe you want more with your hair, but you know, look at yourself in the mirror and say, gosh, I'm so thankful that I have hair. You know, I'm so thankful that it's this shade. I'm so thankful that it's super thick. Maybe you wanted it curly. Okay, go curl it with a curling iron. Like you can make that happen. <laughs> Start finding a few things that you really love about yourself, that you really think are wonderful gifts, and start telling that to yourself daily. Look yourself in the mirror. Look at you in your eyeballs. Like people seriously want to be looked at in your eyeballs. I feel like there's there's just like there's a connection that happens when you stare at someone in your eyeballs. So guess what? Go stare at your own self with your eyeballs in the mirror and tell yourself these beautiful things that you do appreciate. And you know what, maybe you, maybe you don't like the way your body looks. Maybe you hate your legs or, but you know what, can you appreciate them? So you can say, you know what, gosh, instead of saying, oh my gosh, I hate my legs, I have cellulite and they're fat and they're white. You look in the mirror and you say, man, they do a lot for me. They carry me all day they put up with whatever I need them to do, even if I'm jogging and, and I, I'm not like a sprinter like someone else that you desire to be, you can appreciate them and say, man, they're strong. They just keep going. The more I ask, the more I ask, the more I ask, I ask of them. 
Um, there are things all over your body you can appreciate. So start there. Start saying positive things about yourself. When those negative thoughts come in, stop them. And say out loud, no, that's not true. That is not true. And I maybe I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. So you need to start saying those positive things and let that tumbleweed catch. We need to grow that tumbleweed. So in my head, first is God. It can or cannot be for you. First after God is you. Start being kind to yourself. Because when you are kind to yourself, guess what? You can turn around and be so kind to your husband and your children or your spouse and your children. And then... And then it falls even further down to all of your other friendships, relationships, and everyone else in the world. When you first show yourself kindness, then you can actually show everybody else kindness. And it's also a really good thing for your children to see. Moms, if your daughters and your children are seeing all you do is walk around and go, ugh, my thighs are this, or my arms are this, or... Mommy just isn't very beautiful like these girls on here. Or if someone says, wow, you look great. And you're like, oh, gosh, I, I, I don't think so, but thanks or whatever. If you diminish the compliment, what are you telling your children? You're telling your children that you don't believe you're enough. How would they ever be enough? Children see their parents as, as just amazing, amazing people in their life. So... Especially with girls, moms, don't be talking about your bodies in negative lights. My gosh, there are so many problems these days with eating disorders, malnutrition, and binging and purging, and and like all of these things that are so harmful to our bodies. And it's so hard with all the influences you have on an exterior basis, like at the stores and the magazines and their friends and the diet industry and the pills and all the things, it is all around them. And their best friends doing stuff and they're, they're seeing all these results, they feel insecure about stuff, instead of telling them to go on a diet or telling them to do this, guys, start filling their souls. Fill their soul. Find something that is they're passionate about and ignites them and once they start getting that confidence inside, they, they may start changing other habits that actually help them to lose the weight. You do the same. Start finding things that fill your soul, make you happy, because then you wanna take better care of your body and you wanna treat yourself better. And it just it's just this beautiful domino effect rather than well, you really need to, you're really putting on weight there, daughter, and, and you need to go on a diet, and you just don't look good, and mom doesn't look good, and we need to do all this stuff. Like, it's such an unhealthy thing. It's so unhealthy. Yes, if you are overweight, and if your children are overweight, clearly something needs to change. Go for walks as a family. Start taking care of yourself as a family. Do things, not because you want to lose weight, but because you want to spend time together, because you want to be outside and get some fresh air and, and get your heart pumping and make it fun. Make it fun. But please, it is so harmful, especially to girls. Women, stop badgering yourselves. You are beautiful. You are perfectly made how you are supposed to be. And yes, if you are, obviously, if your doctor said you're obese, like this is not doctor's advice at all. What I'm just saying is... You follow whatever doctor routine um, that you've been given. However, if this is just a normal um, talking bad about yourself, go inside. Find the things that you love and only say those things. When you say the other things, stop yourself. Say no. That is a false belief. I am XYZ. I am super strong. I appreciate my body and all that it does for me. Please spend some time doing that because you are all so beautiful. Everybody has something unique and beautiful about them. Yes, those models are gorgeous. The fitness people are amazing. They work so hard. They are so dedicated to getting a body like that. If that is you, it's amazing. Please just show yourself kindness because when you show yourself kindness, 
it then trickles down to everybody else. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that this resonates with you. Let me know if you have any comments and go, go look at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself something beautiful. Okay. Have a blissful day. Bye.